Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here. Um, this is uh, lesson number 15. I'm just going to be quickly going through um, how to create and use your own libraries. Um, I'm just going to be going over um, two methods of doing this for now. There's other ways of doing this, but for the most part, you won't need to know much more than this unless you're using the um, Windows API functions. <sighs> So uh, we're going to start off first by making a new console application. Right, I'm going to call this post15, you can call it whatever you want. And I already have a post15. <laughs> so... Crap. Right. Um, okay, there we go. All loaded. So, um, the very beginning here just quickly goes over through some of the reasons why you should know how to do this, why you might use it in the future, and, you know, why li importing libraries is important. Um, basically, in short, it states that uh, importing a library is just like importing someone else's work so um, you can use their functions or whatever, right? So um, to add a new library pro um, for creating your own library, it's pretty uh, simple and straight to it. Just going to go right click your project, now it's the one with the green icon, and uh, go to add new item. Oh, sorry, not your project, your solution, right? Because we're going to be adding a new project. So we're going to just create a class library here. I'm going to call this my class. I think that's what I called it in the example as well. Sorry, my library. Right. So it's a class library. Hopefully, um, you know that gives it away the word class library, and um, it's a DLL. You know. I'm just going to rename this to my class. So um, I'm going to make this class do something, so I'm just going to add a public static function and call it my function, pretty plain and simple. So let's just make this do something, so um, console.writeLine low world crap whatever in that case uh, let's just use the example here called function from the right. and console dot read line and um, you don't necessarily have to do this but for such a simple case, I'm just going to remove all of the unrequired uh, libraries, just to make it run a bit more fast. It's a good habit to do, but at the same time, it can be pretty annoying, and especially if you don't know your libraries or your namespaces very well. So, yeah. Anyway, um, like I said before, there are two methods of importing the libraries. Um, the first method, if you're, if it's in your current project, you can just right click it, go to project, project dependencies, and click on, uh, you know, the class library project you want to import. Now, um, notice the project build order. The, because you set the project dependency on this, it'll automatically change it so that my library is built first, which is important for the compiler, right? Um, so in the program, I'm just going to call it. So when you added the dependency, notice how... Okay, it should have... Uh, did I add it to the wrong one? Yep. Anyway, um, it should be showing up in the references. I guess in this case, 
we're going to have to manually add it. So you go to Add Reference. You're going to go to uh, your projects and select My Library. Right, and now it should show up in the list of references. Right, so uh, then you just define a using statement. So for My Library, now you have ac access to all of its. Um, Things, its classes, what and uh, whatnot. So my class dot my function, and um, because it's a uh, static, we don't have to declare it as an object or anything. So let's run this, and this should pretty much just upload output one line of text, and it's pretty much it, right? Now you can do this another way. Let's say you want to import um, someone else's library or whatever. So what you want to do is you want to first find their library. In um, our case it's going to be where we save the project files. So you just want to find the project, um, the main directory for the project. And if you haven't figured this out yet, um, it's going to be in the bin, right? That's where all of your EXEs or um, the outputs are um, located. So I'm just going to copy that, or actually drag and drop in this case. It will be easier if we do this way. The, um, the point of dragging and dropping and not just um, adding the reference to it right away is that um, so if you move the project files to another computer you'll still have access to the library because it will be moved because um, this moves it into the project files so you just go right click add reference and you go to browse and by default it should be um, your uh, main project uh, folder right should be right there. Just click OK. I'm um, sorry. Since it's already declared or added on, I'm just going to delete that just for to show how an example. Ah. Just delete that and remove the dependencies just to um, make this a more legit example. Notice how all of these are red squiggly or whatever. So now we add the reference to our external library, and poof. Once that damn squiggly goes away, <laughs> my computer is being a bit slow right now. So again, just run it. Ta-da! That's pretty much to it. There's other methods to it, like um, DLL import. But um, we'll talk about that another day.